Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you a little quick tip on how to get some cool uh, FM timbre type of leads in Faceplant. Uh, the twist is that we're not going to do any type of FM at all uh, using this technique. So let's get started. We open up a wavetable and we're going to start with the default wavetable that's loaded into Faceplant. So as you can see, just a sine wave being morphed into different shapes. And the trick is if you go into the wavetable editor and you go to effects and choose power sync, we get something like this. Which is super, super cool. And Let's just open up a slice EQ here. As, as you can see, especially for the sine wave, we get this roll off in the high frequencies. And sure, this sound uh, works good as it is, of course, if that's what you want. Like we can grab a filter and, you know, play around with it. But if we want to change the timbre and add more high frequency content in, in our spectrum, we can go here and load the uh, distortion module and choose quantize, for example. And let's just mix it in. So you can really shape this timbre um, or this this wavetable with the quantized distortion. So yeah, super cool. And let's try with the filter now. Almost gets this like wet texture to it, if that makes sense. Um, I like to like it to describe it as a, like a wet, like uh, yeah, like a wet texture to it. Almost like the virus FM, if you ask me, um, the virus TI that is. So. That being said, we of course are not limited to the default wavetable. We can choose any wavetable we want. So yesterday I was playing around and I loaded up a uh, one of the tables from Serum actually, which was the Matrix C C64 if I'm not mistaken. And this is how it sounds. And if we go in here again, effects, power sync, we get this. Which is also kind of cool as it is. If that's the type of sound that they want. However, I like it when it's a little bit more more noisy type of lead. So let's uh, try with the bandpass. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it for the sound. Um, if you want to like capture this sound, I highly suggest that you record it as an audio clip and then re-export it and then load it into a uh, another wavetable synth like Vital or Serum or your wavetable editor of uh, or or the wavetable editor of your choice. Um, however, if you only want to capture this this sound, this new wavetable, you can just go in here and then file and save it and then you can save it in in wherever you want on your hard drive. Um, but if you want with the distortion, as far as I know, Faceplant doesn't let you have a re uh, synthesis option. So 
you need to record it out so you capture the distortion as well onto your um, onto your lead. So, yeah, would be pretty cool if uh, Kilohertz was able to develop some kind of thing that lets you capture the effects being applied to your wavetable and then resample it. But uh, yeah, that's just uh, wishful thinking from my end at the moment. So anyway, uh, that was all I want to show you. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.